Hello, my spooky people. This week's video is going to be just a little bit different. Ever since we moved into this new home, I've been thrifting and trying to find different ways to light up my room. The big light in the room is too bright, but also LEDs are not bright enough, and yeah, I just need some more lighting in my room. So I have thrifted a few lamps that I am going to repurpose and restyle and basically just redo the shades for. Um, my cosplayer Audacity is coming out again because I kept watching um, those like shorts and reels of people just remaking a lampshade. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I am going to take some of these lampshades and I'm going to make them just a little bit more spooky. I have some sparklies and dangly and just overall fabric and pieces that I've collected over the years and a few things that I bought for this. But overall the majority of what I'm going to be using today is thrifted or repurposed. But yeah, there's not a whole lot else for me to say other than I just really wanted some new lamps and some shades for those lamps that are custom for me. So let's go make my new lamps. All right, so here are the lamps I'm working with. This first one you've already seen in the background of my video sitting on that shelf behind me. This is the only one with the glass shade, so hopefully it won't take a lot to really zhuzh it up. The second one has more of a traditional shade that I feel can be a good starting point to learn how to do these lampshades. And this third one I'm more excited about because of its weird shape and that it looks like a lantern instead of just a traditional lamp. It's also the most gross and it's going to need a lot of love. So the first lamp I'm going to work on is this one. There's not a whole lot that I want to do with this one specifically. Um, mostly something to the bottom edge right here. This one sits a little bit higher than where I sit sometimes so I end up seeing a very bright light bulb and that's not always super great so I'm gonna add something that dangles down this just a little bit and I'm hoping for maybe that length just enough to like go around and make that a little bit nicer. When I first got this one uh, it was probably the first lamp that I thrifted so it's been in use for a while. Um, I just put a little bat thing on it and I hung this from some sewing kit that I got years ago and it's just something to make it a little bit nicer so I'm gonna start by taking these things off and heating up my glue gun and going from there. So starting with the easiest one to get me ready for the others I'll get the glass shade done first. So while my hot glue gun is heating up I'm going to take off these temporary decorations I had on it and then give the whole thing a good wash off screen. A lot of what I'm doing to this shade is just adding some dangly and shiny bits onto it with some hot glue. I'm attaching some beaded fringe to the top bit and then I'll put that little bat back on it because it's just too cute to not have it there. I'll then put some fringe onto the bottom edge, double layering it because one just wasn't enough, and then some more beads on top of that. And honestly, that's cute and I think anything more would be too much for this shade, so it's done already. Alright, so the easy one is already done, so this is the next one. This one is already falling apart. I knew from the second that I got it that I would be redoing this shade, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. On to the second lamp. I've also had this one for a while and I've been using it. It's set up with my machines and helped provide a lot of light for the room, but it's just a bit too bland and not nearly spooky enough, so I'm gonna fix that, starting with removing the old fabric. This is where I really needed to slow down and figure this out. In all of the videos I've seen of lampshade remakes, I saw that they wrapped the structure wires in some tape, so I got some tool tape and I'm going to do just that. This will allow me to sew the shade on later and this took me a long time to do. Once the wire is wrapped, I can then grab some white fabric and sew that onto the outside one panel at a time. With each stitch that I'm making, I'm not worrying about how the seam will look, it'll be covered later. But I do need to make sure that it's catching the tape behind it so that it stays where I want it to be. I found the hardest part of this step was maintaining constant tension in the fabric, but once I got the hang of it, it wasn't very hard. 
I started with every other panel to wrap around the wire naturally, and then I filled in the gaps by folding the edges of the remaining panels to sew that down. I then had to go on the inside and trim all of the seam allowances so it wouldn't show up when the lamp is lit. All of this did take me a lot longer than I expected, so by the time I had this first shade wrapped, I was getting pretty tired, but I went ahead and added some fringe and some tape along the seams and the top to hide the hand stitching, and I guess it's cute. It's very black and white and seems a little bit too, uh, Y2K dorm room for my spooky taste, but I'm a bit too tired to see what I need to do to fix that, so I'm gonna go get some food and sleep. That was a lot of work. Um, it was a bit delusional of me to think that I could do three lampshades in one day. I really have a bad habit of doing this to myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to feed my animals, I need to make me some food, and uh, my back is hurting so I'm gonna go lay down. I will see you for day two tomorrow. Hello, it is day two. I am extremely tired. Last night I was wide awake thinking of the last one that I did that I had to like re-fabric, re-wrap, whatever you want to call that. And I don't know, it just not quite the vibe yet. So I'm going to add some spider webs to it, I think. <laughs> um, I did a few swatches this morning while I was putting my makeup on and just like getting ready a little bit. Um, I didn't bother getting my paint out because honestly I don't really want to bother with paint so I swatched with a couple different pins and everything and I think my gel pin is actually going to be the one to do it. Um, I'm not going to wash these so it's just going to be the way it is so yeah I'm going to add spider webs to that one and then I'm going to work on my lantern one and hopefully finish these today so let's go do that. But just kidding, I found a fabric paint marker that works so much better, so I'm gonna use that to doodle on some webs. This again took longer than I expected, but I'm very happy with the result. With that done, I can then move on to the final lampshade. I guess I forgot to record an intro for this one, so I'll just talk about it while I clean it. This is the last one that I thrifted and I was obsessed with the shape as soon as I found it and I knew I could make it a spooky lantern thing. When I took the sticker off and tried to wipe away the residue, some of the paint came off so I guess I'm grabbing some black paint and repainting the base once it's been cleaned. Once that's done, I can move on to the shade, but boy is this just gross. A dead bug even came out of it when I took the original fabric off and I had a freak out moment after where I just needed to clean everything around me after I got that dusty grossness off. Once I got that cleaned and I was able to calm down a little bit, I then need to wrap the structure wire in twill tape just like I did with the other shade and then cover it with some white fabric again. This one was much harder to wrap with fabric because of the shape and that I can't easily fit my hand inside to trim the extra fabric seam allowance. But with that wrapped, I can then try it and figure out how I want to decorate this one. Originally, I thought I would get some like sheer black net almost that I could pleat and drape, but nothing I did really looked good and I'm just not at that level, so I decided to get some old insertion lace instead and just cover the shade in that. This was the right move. So I glued some strips of the lace to the edges and then covered the seams with some bias tape and added some beaded fringe to the top and then off screen I put together a little tassel with a skull bead and just booped that onto the bottom tip and that's all of my lampshades done.
I am so happy with these lips. Ugh. I am so proud of how these turned out. I think they're super cute, custom, unique little lamps that will definitely help me make my room a little bit more cozy. I am so happy with how these turned out. I, it was a pretty simple project. None of them turned out the way I originally thought they would, but that's okay. I, sometimes it just happens. But I still am very happy with the end results on all three of these lamps. I think they turned out wonderfully spooky and a little bit whimsical and definitely my style. So let me know what you thought in the comments. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and this week's emoji is going to be the sun emoji, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!